Okay, our next poet is Suzanne Allen, who, along with her beloved Mohammed, um, hosted all of us in their wonderful new apartment the past week. So we thank you for that. Thank you for those pastries this morning, Mohammed. Yes. Perfect. Suzanne Allen never knows if she's coming or going. She used to think this was only a statement about emotions or where she stood with certain friends or family, but now she understands that it has to do with things like jet lag, weather, and living in a second language, all things that can keep one off balance. So she craves sleep. Sleep like a princess <laughs> sleeps, especially in the afternoon with the washing machine humming along in the next room, like a train softly going. Her home is a place of linens and paper, creaking chairs and bread crumbs, sunlight and socks, where she dare not sit too long. There's so much to do. Draperies and dresses to sew, decorative pillows to fluff and throw, dishes to wash, and old truths to unknow. She likes pink and white roses and is also rather prickly, like so many of her favorite women. She never wanted more than an old convertible and a back house. Still doesn't really, though she has so much more. Lucky. She's lucky. Her kindergarten teacher, Miss Abel, sent prayers and Christian love, enough to last a lifetime, home in every report card. At nap time, she moved about in the cool of the blue-green-gray classroom, putting it back in order. Suzanne began playing teacher after that, lined up her dolls and stuffed animals in attentive rows and took attendance. By the time she was nine, she was dragging and pushing her Sears Roebuck country French bedroom furniture around in her room, ultimately leading to a whirlwind career in interior design. She can space plan any room out of a conundrum, but her favorite projects are always the poems. Here's Suzanne Allen. I'm going to read this one. This one was nominated for a Pushcart Prize. <laughs> but I think my uh, notification letter got lost in the mail. So <laughs> <laughs> Your notification that you won got lost in right. the mail. Right. Yeah. I think it's probably coming because <coughs> Paris is far. Yeah. So we'll wait a little longer. <coughs> it's called Free Refills, and it's after James Tate. The wind was blowing so hard that it closed the car door. A tan man with sandy hair walked toward me from over by the air pump, said he ran out of gas a couple of miles back, and did I by any chance have some spare change? I have a lot of change. Too much change. Glad to get rid of some of it. I also gave him a stick of gum and a tampon. <laughs> he said, God bless you. <laughs> and I needed it. Inside, the diner was serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A seeing-eye dog sat next to a man reading the paper, who was in the middle of ordering the usual. The waitress, patting her apron pockets with her free hand, finally finding her pen, said, Okay, Stan, but tomorrow you gotta promise me you'll order the chef's scramble. Okay, Lily, tomorrow I'll promise you. <laughs> a blind woman tap-tapped her way along between the booths and out the front door where she mounted a blue seahorse and moved away in that underwater way that only a seahorse can. <laughs> and this one, this will be my last one, this is a, this is our workshop poem, kind of. It's a postcard, kind of. It's called Fifth Floor Morning. Spacious is hardly the word, yellow is not the color. And still, I see your bathroom. The plush seat cover and rugs, the can of lemon air freshener, the round mirror, one side fit for plucking, the other for everything else. Only the tub is lost to me now, here among my own piles of laundry and junk mail, the shaving cream on his face where a mustache would be, the song in his shower, and the dog, confused about who will walk him and when. Place it all here on the table with our breakfast of baguette and boiled eggs, jus d'orange, last night's wind and wine still sighing in the bottom of the bottle, and the towel at his waist, the folded clothes in his hands, and the trash he will carry downstairs. Morning is such a foggy place here. 
wish you were always. Mm -hmm.